I don't know why I put myself through this. I just finished recording the last video, which was on my sports only account, doing eight hours of Fontaine quest. And now we're straight back into more quests on Fontaine only because I have a lot of quests to do here. I need to do the stupid chasm quest and so then I can continue on and do Sumeru's quest, which is my goal for today. I'm going to do chasm and then Sumeru and get that done. I've started working on this event because there's no way I'm going to get to Natland before we finish this. So I've already started working on it and I've done the first of the three things and I've also gotten the weapon. So I'm not in like a super big rush to get, you know, over to Natland because I don't need to do the Archon quest just yet. But I will have to get around to it sooner rather than later because I do need to get the 500 Primo. So there probably will be some pretty big quest videos in this account. But for the time being, we are just doing Sumeru and Chasm. And we have the timer on again because I don't have a time limit for this one. But I'm just putting the timer on because I want to see how long it takes. But before we do that, I we have this, the free five star thing. Which is completely useless on this account because we can't use anyone. That no one here is a Fontaine character. So I'm just going to get ka because we don't have her, so I can get a free pool. Awesome. And with that free pool from ka maybe we get something really nice? No. We do have a good amount of Primo saved up for the next Fontaine character. We're sitting at 21 uh, pools there with the 15. So 36. So you yeah, know we're getting there with pools, which is nice. They've changed it so you don't need to do the chasm splunkers, whatever the hell that, that quest is called. Do I even have it unlocked on this? Yeah, this one. The chasm delvers. They've made it so you don't need to do that quest now. Oh, thank God. That was one of the reasons I hated this chasm quest the most. is because you had to do that world quest to actually get down here and it takes too long and is painful. But we can just go straight into it without having to do that. I mean, this bit of the quest is not much better, but it's, you know, still better than having to do that stupid Chasm Delvers quest. But I decided to be smart about doing this quest, and I haven't started the quest the day before I need to post it. I've given myself about four days to work on this quest. So, I'll probably split it up over two or three days, but I, it's going to be a lot less questing in one day, which, thank God, because it's painful. Okay, well that's done. That only took 20 minutes. That was way quicker than I thought. Sick. Now we got seven hours of questing ahead of us. Yippee. But without further ado, let's get stuck into this. Chapter 3, Act 1, Sumeru has begun. Let's do this. And there we go, just over the one hour mark now. And we are done with the Gundavaville stuff. And just like that, the Traveler has now gotten a 0.073% damage increase now she's gonna be insane she'll be cracked we're hitting 500k Dumuru has some of the coolest animations in their cutscenes you know, like like the fights are cool the fights are actually sick but like there's with all the Akasha stuff all the glitching effects and everything the actual overlay animations are really cool the first act of Sumeru is done pretty decent it's okay. Now we get into not decent and not okay. Very long and painful sub zeros Festival repetitive over and over and over pain kind of quest. This is like a four hour quest or something when you're not skipping through it, which is way too long. And I mean, the story's okay, but it could have been condensed into a lot shorter because it takes too long and gets way too repetitive. Oh my God, Dunrazad, why do you walk so slow? I am literally, I am using a shorter character and I'm still walking significantly faster than Dunrazad. Please walk quicker. This is one thing I can't stand with any sort of quests is when NPCs walk so much slower than your character. Even if your character is shorter and in theory should walk slower, they don't. And now as we wrap up the first day of sub Series Festival and go on to the second day, we have just passed the two hour mark. So... We're going to be here until the four hour mark because that's how bloody long this quest takes. Not only is this quest really long, but it's also quite disappointing because every time we talk to Nahida, we're like, oh, we're making progress. Surely we haven't tried this before. We, we should make some progress. And then Nahida proceeds to go, oh, no, you've already done that like 18 times. And every single time you're wrong, 
It's like, come on, I thought we were making progress. Leaving the city. As far as I remember, you've mentioned your plans to do that twice before. See, this is what I mean. Oh my god, we made a new discovery. We leave the city. That should do something. There he goes, yeah, now nah, I've already done that before. Been there, done that. And now we get cool, very pretty cutscene to end off very painful and not fun quest. That is definitely a good way to end off this quest. I'm glad they actually put a nice cutscene in the end of it, so there was at least something that made the end of the quest a little bit more enjoyable, not just the relief of finishing the painful Subzeros Festival. Which, to be fair, is a pretty good ending anyway. Knowing I don't have to do the Subzeros Festival again, I'm stoked with that. And there we go, finally. Just shy of three hour mark. Act two is done, the painful long one. Awesome, that means we now on to act, apparently not act three just yet, but we are basically on to act three now. As we reach the three hour mark, it's time for act three. Oh yeah, I forgot. I say this every single time I do a quest because I forget everything, but this is where we meet Dottore. Now we go to the desert which I haven't unlocked a lot of. And there we go, hour 42, no, three hours 42, act three is completed. It was a little bit longer than I would have liked, about 10, 12 minutes longer, but that's fine. Now we're on to the King Deshret stuff. This one's probably gonna sit about 50 odd minutes. And then we move on to big long one, which should finish us pretty bang on at about seven hours. And there might be a chance I do it all today because I have enough time, so I might just try to get it done while I can. Because I'm not planning on doing anything else today, so I could just finish off the entirety of this quest and then not have to deal with it. And just like that, we've hit the four hour mark. And we're on to the... I'm pretty sure it's the hospital or it's the research facility or it's the abandoned hospital or something like that. We are going on to that part of the quest now. Uh, there we go, that is the King Deshret ruins thing done now there's just a tiny bit more quest and we are done with this it has taken me a little bit longer than i would have liked why is this all the way over here great that's gonna be fun and there we go act four is completed just leaving us the longest one now act five now i'm going to quickly do my dailies now and take a quick break because i've just done five straight hours of quests because it is now four hours 51 on the timer so, I am taking a quick break. Okay, we're back. It's a little bit longer of a break than I was originally planning on. And, as you can see, the timer is back to zero because apparently, as soon as you close OBS, which I did, I don't know why, but I did, uh, it resets the entire timer. So, good to know that. So, I'm just starting again from the start. Really random thing that I just noticed as I was coming over here. Emily's charge attack, no, plunging attack, is it just me? It, it looks more elegant than most normal plunging attacks for like polearm users. Like if I put on Chlorand, you know, it looks cool. But Emily's looks so much more elegant. I, there's, it's a weird way to put it, but it does. I don't know why. It's the same, it's the exact same thing. I don't know, maybe it's just because Emily's a more elegant character. These hiding things make so much sense. Or these... No, stay hidden ones make so much sense. Like, how are you not seeing me? I'm literally right in front of you to spin around in circles. How can you not see that I am here? I mean, like, come on. I am staring directly into the eyes of that Fatui guy right there. Yet, when I go behind these guys, apparently they can see me. My deification is nearly complete. Deification. That's, that's a great word. I'm going to start using that more now. One thing and that annoys me with this time-changing thing that... Probably won't really notice until I point it out, then you'll notice, is when you listen to it. It very rarely lines up with the ticky the, the ticky noise and when it actually hits these little like the little points in it. So like it normally had the normally like ticks halfway in between them. Which I know is very weird, but it annoys me. I want them to line up so it's satisfying and clean, but it annoys me how it's all over the shop. Oh god, scared me. Jesus. I forgot that was the first line Paimon said in here. God, that scared me. Oh, and just like that, we've hit the one hour mark. We're actually making way better progress than I thought. 
I thought we'd be like significantly over an hour by now, but we're making good progress. Hell yeah. Now it is time to fight Skara or the Balladeer or whatever this god form thing is. Oh, yeah, no, I'm not going to call him that name. That's too long of a name. Uh, he's the Balladeer or Scaramouche. That, not going to say that name. Don't know how to pronounce it. We're also already forgotten it because too many words. Okay, it is a boss fight time now. These should be... Okay, they're a little bit... Oh god, don't do that. I don't like that. They're a little bit easier, which is what I expected. They normally are. The ones in the quests are normally a little bit easier than the actual weekly bosses, the weekly boss version. So we should be able to shred through this pretty easy. Indeed we can. First phase is done. I keep trying to skip this, but I can't when we're in the quest. See, this is what I mean when I said, like, right at the start of this video, how the, like, animations and stuff, not animations, the overlays and effects and stuff in this in this Sumeru quest because of the Akasha and all of the that stuff. It, that's what I mean. That, like, that looked awesome. All the graphics and little things on the screen. Now, Skaramouche has resistance, so let's see what Nouvellet does. Actually, let's see what everyone does. Just go crazy with bursts right now. 21k there from Linny. And 11k or something from Clarand. Okay, Nouvellet, just finish it off. There we go. Easy. We just anti Fatui Harbinger did. That's the word. Normally, the Fatui Harbingers steal the Gnosis from us. We just stole the Gnosis from the from the Fatui Harbinger. Now we get to the depression, and there we go. Two hours, two minutes. Sumeru almost said Fontaine. Sumeru is done. That was a lot of quests in one day. Basically, five, seven hours, or like just under seven hours of quests. And we still have about, I'd say, 40-ish minutes more to go. Because we have Carry Bear. Now, it is 11 o'clock at night, so I don't really want to start this. But also, I don't want to bother doing it tomorrow. So, I'm just going to start it anyway and get it done. Should only take us like 40 minutes. My sleep schedule is already bad, so it's not changing anything really. So, without further ado, let's get into Carry Bear. This is a pretty short quest. As most of these Danes Lift quests are. And there we go. Basically, bang on, 2 hours 40, Carry Bear is done. That took us basically bang on 40 minutes. Sick. Which means that's it. That's all of Sumeru done. This is Fontaine, which I will obviously need to do because this is Fontaine only, so I kind of need to do Fontaine. But I will obviously not be doing that now because I've been doing 8.5 hours, I'd say which is uh, quite a lot of quests to do in one day because I was going to spread this over multiple days. That's why I rec started recording today. So I had to have four days to record this over and uh, I didn't. I've done it all in one day. So uh, that's, I mean, cool. I don't have to think about doing quests for another three days. So we can grab some, probably six, I think, again, pools. Now I will get around to doing Fontaine, but yeah, not right now because... It's going to be a while. I'll probably leave it a little bit until we do Fontaine because I don't want to do more quests. I'll probably do Fontaine. I'm going to say probably in like a fortnight or so. Like next fortnight I'll do Fontaine so I still can get it done before this thing runs out, which has about a month. But yeah, I'll get it done. Uh, with that being said, that's all I want to do here because... It is 11.30 at night, and I'm tired. I've been doing quests all day. So, uh, yeah, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. If you like sort of content, do consider subscribing. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and good. Bye!